Hi, I'm Monsignor Jamie, and welcome to a brand new episode of Breaking Bread. And what makes today's show so special is that this man is on a mission in Williamsburg and Greenpoint. So don't go away. Welcome back to Breaking Bread, and I would like to introduce you to that chef, that very special person that I was talking about, Josh Cohen. Josh, how are you? Good, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, uh, they're in suspense out there because I said you're on a mission. What does that mean? Well, it's not only me, okay. but we are on a mission to feed people in need in North Brooklyn. Okay, which is Williamsburg, Greenpoint. Yeah, Bushwick. Bushwick, okay. Right. So we have a food truck called the North Brooklyn right. Angels Food Truck. Very familiar with it. Very, thank you very much for your support. And we feed about a thousand people a week. It is all volunteer based. And the food is donated also? Most of the food is okay. donated. We have a small budget, which we're using mostly for protein okay. purchases, but we get from the CSA, we get from a lot of other um, soup kitchens okay. and drop-offs. And we are moving into a new segment where we can also get protein for us. So soon we should be all donation volunteer Wonderful. based. So now that's the mission that we're on right, right. now. And I know that I'm involved in it here yeah. at Lady Mount Carmel because we have our kitchen here and the truck goes out. And tell me a little bit about you. How did you start cooking? You're a chef, you're a restaurateur in this neighborhood. You were involved in about nine different restaurants. Tell me a little bit about your background. Okay, well, born and raised in uh, Brooklyn, okay. third generation uh, Brooklyn guy, and found out sophomore year that me and traditional school was not a great fit. Okay. So I went to an alternative high school where I was able to cook in very nice Where'd you, Where was that? City as School. Okay. But I went to the one downtown Brooklyn. Okay. It was a different time. Right. And City Tech, was it? It's right across the street from Juniors. It's oh, in okay. the LIU sure. campus. So we would do what's called resources, where I got to work at, um, like my first job was like working at Chanterelle okay. back in the day when I was on the corner. Great French Hudson and Harrison, yes. one of only four four-star restaurants at yes. the time. So for junior and high and uh, senior year, high school, I worked there and it just clicked. Now how many I years do you do, are you? Uh, since from? I'm 16. Okay, I'm how old are you now? now? Okay, so you've been in a while. Long time. So now in this neighborhood, as you know, has taken off. There's more restaurants, mm -hmm. I think, in Williamsburg, Greenpoint area than there are in the rest of Brooklyn combined. Close. Close, right? Close. Now I know Dumbo and, you know, Park We have Slow. the best restaurants. Of the course, quality. of course. Quality. Everything's the best in, in Williamsburg, right? <laughs> but tell me, uh, what are some of those restaurants you're involved with? We have Jimmy's Diner that's over here in Williamsburg. We have Lilia that's in Williamsburg. Lilia, you can't get a reservation in there. Yeah, that's a hard I one. I call you for my reservation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on a must take, so that's good. Uh, we also, we have Vanilla that's in um, Greenpoint. We have a newer place, uh, Chez Matan, okay. which has taken off in uh, Greenpoint. Okay, I haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, yeah. So we have Extra Fancy, which is over sure. here, which is a big industry bar. So now how did the uh, Northside Angels come about and the, the food pantry? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I started working with uh, uh, Father John Mertz right. over in Greenpoint. From the Episcopal Church. Correct. Yeah, and great guy. And with Neil Sheen was uh, involved right. over there. And he was involved with uh, Bread for Life. Bread for Life, and yeah, St. John's, which was great. Very active and in the community. Took me over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do, my wife and I, and some of our restaurant people that work with us right. in the restaurants, are very involved in all sorts of community outreach. Right. And that kitchen closed. And I guess they were in talks with you. Right, well, I, I arrived here up. about it in January yeah. of uh, 17. Mm -hmm. And the first week that I was here, Neil Sheehan came. And I, I think he was alone. I'm not sure if you were with him at the time. I don't think so. And he came and he said, Monsignor, you know, we have this program where we're in the process of purchasing a truck with the Episcopal Church. We have a, a big donor, Norman Brodsky, and mm -hmm. his wife, Elaine, and they were going to pay for this truck. But we don't have a place to prepare the food. And we know that you're much involved in cooking and your background, and we know that you're concerned with the community, you want to get involved. So I said, well, we have a kitchen. So we went down and the kitchen, you know, was needed some work. And of course we had some, uh, you know, donations mm -hmm. and we were able to renovate that kitchen. And that's how we got involved. And I'm very happy to be involved because it's a way of our community getting involved with the larger community. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 
faith without works is dead. And you know, when you, when you preach on Sunday, people want to do something. I agree. You know, especially the new the new people in the in the neighborhood. They want to get involved and they want hands on. And we have a lot of volunteers. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the kitchen is there and uh, it's working well. How long is it about? About a year, over a year yeah. now. Yeah, it's been great. It's been very organic. And I agree. I mean, you can complain all you want behind a keyboard, but it's like unless you're actually like trying to do something exactly. to improve. Exactly. I mean, I love all the people they sit yeah. back on and they complain, you know, Always. that the Christophers have a line. It's better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. And meanwhile, you could sit there and complain, sure. get up and do something yeah. and stop complaining. Yeah. Just get out of there. And get out of I, your I think it's a great thing. It's wonderful to see the truck. I mean, you go right around the neighborhood. I don't know what day it is, but on the day of uh, the, um, off the BQE. Yeah, Mika. Mika, and you see the truck, right? You put it right on the overpass, and you yep. see Northside Angels and the truck and all, it's great. It's wonderful to see. Yeah, and it's, we're getting great response. Now, when you say you're feeding the poor, I mean, it's not the homeless, no. it's anyone. It's anyone, anyone, because you know, this neighborhood in which we live has gone through a great change. Mm -hmm. And many people that uh, remain here, you know, their rents have doubled and tripled. Easy. So, you know, now what they budgeted for food and other things is really a lot less than they anticipated. So they may need a good meal during the day. We provide that service. I think it's wonderful, it really is. And not only just for, you know, poor or even people who are struggling, but we want to get to a spot where this can be an alternative. Right. Instead of going, listen, instead of maybe going to Sweet Greens or whatever, it's that kind yeah. of demographic. It's a maybe, nutritious meal. Yeah, what we're doing is a protein, a right. starch, a veg, right. a salad. They're getting a, a know, balanced so meal that they maybe wouldn't yeah. have had at a fast food place. Yeah, and maybe we can get to a point where we we do it for like a $5 donation. Right, right, right. And that's been floated. Okay. You know, why not? And then we just put it back. Now, how many time. volunteers do we have right now? Total, about 20. 20, okay. Mm -hmm. We can't take too many because no, I mean, we're only thing, preparing yeah, a certain yeah. amount of number of meals and you don't want people tripping over each other, especially in the kitchen. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it would be nice if we get to a point also where we spread it out a little bit. So right. it's like, usually I come in on Sundays. I know, on Sundays. To do that, yeah. and then we have like, you know, eight people. Yeah. And then maybe on Monday, there's only like, maybe right. me and Donna and someone right. else. I know some of the people that come to mass on Sunday, mm -hmm. they like to come after mass. Yeah. They go right from yeah. from church and they go right it downstairs to the yeah. kitchen. And it's great in church because, you know, we're connected. So during mass, you, you smell some of the food. So maybe we'll get more people in church that way too. <laughs> <laughs> you oversee all the food and the, and the prep. Who else do you have down there like on a daily ba basis? Donna's down there. She's like the head. Donna, she's like, she's like she's the sous chef. Like, yeah, she's, she's like a, the sous chef. She's, she's great. Yeah. She's keeping it together. And you know, we have uh, Ryan right. who is like, she deals also with the volunteers, okay. but she's spending more time in the kitchen. Right. Felice Kirby, who's, right. you know, old school. Oh, they're all great people. Yeah. Once in a while I get down there, but you know, I've been so busy, but I'm gonna make it a point. I know I would like also to introduce what we do here to younger people, mm -hmm. maybe high school students uh -huh. that, you know, first of all, maybe are struggling in school. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can come down and pick up a trade or an area where they like cooking. And maybe they mm -hmm. never thought about preparing or being a chef, mm -hmm. but if they come down there, they start working with their hands, they get involved. Mm -hmm. And maybe an alternative for them for a career, like you said, like yourself. Myself too, I yeah. mean, I was in high school. I, I, I wasn't thinking about college. Mm -hmm. I went to the Culinary Institute right out of high school. Mm -hmm. Then I had another calling. And uh, I wound up going to eight years of college instead of four. So be careful what you <laughs> ask for. But um, I think it's something that we have to really look into, but also give the young people a sense of giving back, of service. Sure. And I think, you know, once we get our feet, you know, grounded, I think there are so many things that we can do with this program. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank you. We're going to take a break now. Sure. And uh, when we come back, you're going to do some uh, prep. Sure. Don't go away, and as soon as we come back, we're gonna show you some of the quality food that we serve. Welcome back to Breaking Bread, and today we have with us Josh Cohen. He's a, a restaurateur in the Williamsburg Greenpoint area, Bushwick. He involved about nine different restaurants, and he's also the chef in charge of Northside Angels Food Pantry that we have right here at Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So I know that you don't just serve peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We put out some quality meals. What are some of those meals? And maybe you can show us some of the ingredients that go into those meals. Okay, well, right here, 
we have like some stuff that was donated from um, our local CSA. Okay. And was dropped off. We have a farmer's market over here on Saturdays. And one of I've our been volunteers. to that farmer's market. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. good. I it's mean, good. I just got back from San Diego, so it's a little bit, but it's good. It's good. So, you know, we have some green onions. We have some zucchini. We still have some Brussels sprouts that, are, you know, is ending now. Um, some carrots, radishes. So you use an all... No canned items, uh, not too much, fro nothing frozen, mostly all fresh produce. We don't use anything frozen. We very, very rarely use anything canned. Definitely no vegetables, maybe okay. like beans if we have to. But for the meal that we were even doing today, we got this beautiful pork loin donated to us. So we're doing like roasted uh, pork loin with uh, beans and hominy and that kind of stuff. But I'll show I know, you I go down the there salad. once in a while. I taste some of the food yeah. so, and that stuff is good. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. I, that's the idea. You know, so, once in a while I go down there at night too. I raid the refrigerator. <laughs> I, I, was <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, I thought we had you know, six I'm a, four I'm a priest. You know, sometimes we need a, a nice hot meal. <laughs> so, like, if we're gonna do the cabbage, you know, a lot of times we'll just take it. We'll take red cabbage like this. We'll take some green cabbage. We'll make a nice crispy slaw you know it has that crunch it's another i know kale is very way. big you use a lot of kale every we time do, i go there there's like to... another kale salad well, it's also, excellent it's good and it kind of sneaks people a lot of i think a lot of our clients may not necessarily be too familiar with kale right so if we sneak it in there you know they get the nutrition exactly. and exposed to a different food item that's you great know? It, it's great no really the, meal, sorry, the meals really... you really put out are very good some zucchini but today, yeah, we took some of the zucchini that we got and we roasted it. We took the Brussels sprouts, you know, just like medium chop. Right. There you go. Look. Yeah, that's okay. Now tell me, uh -huh. what are some of the meat dishes that you put out? Well, we have chicken breast. A lot of times we do, we have one stop on Fridays where there's like 75% uh, Muslim Right. Population. Right. That's usually like a chicken day. Right. Last week we got a bunch, like 100 pounds of salmon. Right. Donated. I know during Lent you gave on Fridays you yeah. served some fish too. Yeah. Alternative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's... so we, you know, we have to. So you make sure you accommodate everyone. This is not. We just play a, to our audience. Exactly. Pretty much. Right. And you know, it's, you know, it's not just a Christian thing. It's not a Catholic thing. It's to serve the community. <laughs> I mean, it's one community here in uh, this part of Williamsburg, Greenpoint and uh, everyone gets involved, you know, it, it's wonderful, really. Yeah, is. like we're saying, even if you're you're making a certain amount of money, come by right, if you right. want, you want to donate to the church or come and volunteer, right. that's what we're here for. There's one, I mean, I want to be a little bit sure. of a critic. Sure. You got to improve the desserts. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, yeah. I know they're not healthy. You know what I need from but... you? Add a couple more days to the week. Okay, Add I somebody know. somebody for, for that. I know, and then, maybe and we get we'll, some uh, and donated. And we'll have the time. I know. So the Brussels spots, either like we shred them because it's like, you know, in the cabbage or we'll just like roast them halfway um, whole. How many meals are we producing a, a thousand. day? A thousand. A yeah. thousand a day. Oh, no, no, no. A week. No, a week, so week. Sorry. It's a thousand, about yeah. 200 a day. Yeah. Right. And because uh, I've been down there and I see when the truck goes out and the food goes out. Now, most of it's done by hand. We don't have too much machinery down there that we... No, there's one that's like a RoboCoop. Exactly. That's and that's what we use Tell to... Tell the audience what that is. Uh, a RoboCoop is like a commercial shredder. Shredder, mixer. That, that, yeah, that, yeah, so basically we use that if we're going through... There's only two of us. Right. And we have to build all these like salads so the cabbage can go through there. We can even put the kale through there. Right to shred it up or, you know, some carrots or whatever for slaw. Right. So that's helpful. But everything else is, it's a lot of knife work. A little bit about the truck and, uh, you know, we'll go down there uh, to see it in a minute. But the truck also has a little counseling section on the truck mm -hmm. so that people that want to know about different services that are available to them, maybe some type of job employment. There's a lot of services that that truck provides, not just food, you know, which is wonderful. Sure, uh, sure. I mean, we're trying to provide, because we got them, right, for the food. We want to, and maybe, you know, you look and you see, and sometimes, you know, people, they feel a little bit embarrassed right, or right. whatever, and this is just saying, it's it's okay. Right. It's okay. Now, tell me, you don't get paid for this. No. I mean, this is something that comes from within. How do you feel about doing this? Um, I feel great about it. I just, we just, I don't even really think about it. It just um, comes natural. It just comes natural. I've been very fortunate, you know, this, dodged a bunch of bullets, you know, and stuff like this. And now so, this is your so way we of, give of back, giving back. For sure. Know? And there's so many people that want if to give back. If we could do more, we would do more.
So many people want to give back, and this is a great opportunity for people to give back. Yeah, it is. And even if you can't do this, there's always something right. that you can do. Don't go away. We're going to go down to that kitchen. We're going to show you all the wonderful food we produce and how we produce it in that great kitchen. So don't go away. So welcome back to Breaking Bread. And here we are in the kitchen where this wonderful food is prepared. And this is where the, the foot hits the pedal. Right, as mm -hmm. you said, the magic takes place here. Now look at this, all this magical food. It looks great. So now we'll prepare one of these dishes. This sure. is uh, So what we have is we have some roasted onions, some roasted broccoli, Brussels, uh, bok choy, which was from our CSA, the farmer's market. Carrots. And the carrots. And beans. Over here we have navy and pinto beans with hominy. And, and kale. Kale, kale and of course. Kale. <laughs> the right. staple of Williamsburg, <laughs> kale. <laughs> so I'm gonna build one of these plates. Some and this is like, this is an actual, this is what the plates look like. Okay. This is not um, so made beans. for TV. Should we put this on the well, bottom? I mean, this like is a, made for TV. A little right? bed yeah. so that the pork can go right on top? There you go, chef. There nice. we go. Nice. There you go, a little more, a little more. Don't be cheap. Okay. And then we have uh, some sliced Pork that tenderloin. tenderloin looks wonderful. Thank you. It's just basically salt, pepper, some fresh thyme. I'm going to taste a little bit of this. Sure. It's so tender and tasty. Thanks. They're not going to get this in one of in Williamsburg's finest restaurants. Let me tell you. This is I great. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice meal. Yeah. It's it's a, that's happy. a good meal today. And every day. Every day is good we meal. Try. <laughs> we try. We try. And it also depends on what comes in. Like this was just dropped off on Tuesday. So Josh, where was this meat donated from? This was actually donated from the Hungry Monk Soup Kitchen, which I believe is in Ridgewood. So okay. he runs a big kitchen out there and he also gets a bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's. Wow. And yeah, yeah, they, they actually donated a bunch of salmon. That salmon I mentioned earlier. Yeah, so they've been great. And uh, that's where the pork is from. So an average portion, you know, it's probably about this. Okay. Right? We try to keep ounces, it. Right? Yeah, Six to yeah eight it's about, or even like five ounces. Oh, but five, yeah, ounce. okay. five ounces of protein is more than okay. enough. Sure. Plus, we have all, all the, the beans and the vegetables and everything else. So now this so, goes into the truck in large shaping dishes. It does. It goes in deep hotel pans. Right. Okay. Right? So it sits in a water bath. And so it stays so, hot. So, yeah, this one's like, you know, we cook this like medium. It doesn't stay that long because we have a lot of people waiting, sure. so it's good. So it goes out really right. fast. So it leaves here warm, cooked. Oh and yeah. it's still warm. Oh yeah. Goes into the chafing dishes yep. and it stays warm and then we serve it right. And we yep. serve it in these uh yes. well, these pans. We have these, them, uh, we dishes. have these right okay. now. Right now, I know. Styrofoam, let's be real. It's, yeah, they're doing I, away I understand. with styrofoam. It's so we'll not have ideal, to... right. but what we have right now. Right. Uh, but we're moving towards, we're in talks with a couple of nice compostable well, it's, it's, companies. Well, it served a purpose, but who knew that, yeah. you know, what it did to the environment. Sure. Keeps so, the food hot, and yet it's, you know, it's sturdy. You can put sure. the food in. And, you know, people always, they get it to go. Okay. You know, they'll take it, because a lot of times they're just not going to sit at the curb and eat it. Right, because we so don't, when gonna... the trucks go out, there's no table, so they're really lined up, so they take the food. They and... take it, and then there's also people who have, like, healthcare sure. assistants that come they'll and get the one, food. Right. So it's like, okay, we have two people okay. that are not able to come to the truck, and that's where we go. Now, that's a full I mean, meal. Yeah, and right before it goes out, we'll put a little, like, cold salad. And we actually had a bunch of beautiful greens donated last night. So we have all these like, really nice salad greens that we'll just toss with a little vinaigrette that we make right here. Local bread guy donates these rolls. Yes, I see them every yeah. day. The so we have about 200 rolls and those go out with the meal. So it's a it's a pretty substantial meal. Yes, oh, for sure. sure. And I that's mean, a full like, meal. people I mean, would pay you for eat that. that. I mean, that's one meal a day. I mean, you, you go to Whole Foods, like. that's uh, oh. $20. Uh, easy, easy, easy. And you know, it, it's so wonderful what we do here. And you know, I think after this episode, I think we're gonna get a lot of calls and we may get a lot a lot of volunteers coming so. down here. I hope you so. Know? Right now so. we have two that are working with us. And every day you have a couple and yeah. that's, yeah. that's well, wonderful. We're building. And, and hopefully with something like this, we get the word out. Yeah. And the truck leaves here about, about 11.30? About noon. Yeah, all the food is on the truck. 
the truck is pulling away okay. by noon latest. That's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. That's great. So you see, this is a working kitchen. You have yeah. the noises, you have the fans, the vents going, everything. Makeup this there, is a place. the exactly. yeah, it's not. This, yeah. is, this is not it's television not land. It's not a set. But uh, Josh, thank you so thank much. You. Not only for being on the show, but thank you for what you do. I mean, you were, you're the inspiration behind this because your heart is in it. It's wonderful. And I thank you for the time and the effort on behalf of all the thousand or so plus people that we serve every week. So thank you so much. And, and thanks uh, for having us on behalf of all of our kitchen and volunteers. It's a, it's great a pleasure for our lady Mount Carmel to provide this kitchen. We're providing a service and it, it's just wonderful. Thank you. And I, thanks again. I really enjoy working with you. Me it's too. wonderful. Me it's too. It's been great. a good team, good especially with my background. Who knows? Maybe we'll open up a place together <laughs> someday. But I but hope you enjoyed this episode of Breaking Bread. And the next time you're in Williamsburg or Greenpoint and you see our truck going around, realize it's Brooklyn Angels at work. See you next time on Breaking Bread. On today's episode of Breaking Bread, we had Josh Cohen, um, a restaurateur here in Brooklyn, and also the chef for our Brooklyn Angels, North Brooklyn Angels, a pan food pantry with a food truck that goes out to help feed the poor and those who are in need. We saw how Josh, a very successful restaurateur, a man who darts some bullets in his life, had some difficulties, but now being very successful, a father, wants to give back. And we could see how wanting to give back, care and compassion for those who are in need is contagious. And with his motivation, his energy, his drive, has brought a whole community together to reach out to serve those who are in need. Just goes to show you, when we come together, we can do great things. Watch for the Brooklyn Angels in your neighborhood.